Oh my gosh, where'd he go? No! Jerry! They killed Jerry. What's up, YouTube? Austin here bringing you Coda Kid's first ever Minecraft mod review video. In case you're unfamiliar with what we do here at Coda Kid, we have online courses that teach you how to code and design your very own games using real programming languages. Now some of our most popular courses teach you how to make your own Minecraft mods and Roblox games. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the website and Minecraft mod of one of our very own Coda Kid students. Keep in mind, everything you guys are gonna see in this video was made with code through the help of our online courses. The website was made using HTML and CSS code and the new Minecraft items in the Minecraft mod was made using the Java programming language. Now, Andrew is the student that made this website and mod and I'm here in his website and it looks like he dedicated his website entirely to the ultra craft Minecraft mod that he made. We have these really cool colorful tabs here that when we click on them, they take us to different areas that talk about the Minecraft mod. But here on the homepage, it looks like we have a download link to the actual ultra craft mod we're gonna be testing out. Now I've already downloaded this, but if you guys wanna check out Andrew's awesome website and the ultra craft mod, I'm gonna be including the link to the website in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Now, if you guys need help downloading mods to your Minecraft, Lucky for you, Kodakid already has two awesome videos showing you how to do so on a Mac or PC computer. All right, so without any further delay, let's actually jump into Minecraft so I can show you guys some of the awesome things that Andrew put in his mod. I already see some really cool things here. It looks like we have a little fortress with a spider here. Hey spider, what's up buddy? So we have kind of like a castle area here. Oh, a lot of spiders. You have some spider friends. Ooh, what is this guy? Hello, oh a Jedi creeper, okay. This is pretty cool. I'm wondering what the, what the Jedi Creeper does. Let's see what you do in survival mode. Oh, oh, okay, you got spider buddies. No, Creeper! Oh, okay, it looks like he pushes us back pretty far and doesn't injure us a lot. That's pretty cool. All right, all right, Mr. Spiders. No! No! All right, the spiders weren't nice. Oh, it looks like we have a Ender Dragon buddy here too. All right, all right, uh, be pleased, no. I'm, oh, there's, there's, oh, there's, there's a lot of them. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, there's, there's even more. They just, they just are spawning everywhere. Oh, this is nice. This is, hey buddies. Hey, I'm in creative mode. We're friends, right? We're cool. We're cool, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. We're, we're all right. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Why are you, why are you, why are you following me? It's getting dark too. Uh, maybe if I go hide somewhere. All right. Maybe I'll be safe in here. Let's see. So what these castles are, oh my gosh! Okay, all right, it looks like there is no escape in the Ender Dragons. Oh my gosh, there's Withers too? No, be gentle, they're young sheep, young sheep. Get them Ender Dragon armies, get them. Yes, destroy, destroy my dragon minions. I saved the sheep, hey buddies, hey. Those Withers won't hurt you, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ender Dragon, stop, stop, please. The sheep are friends too. Oh, we got a village over here. All right, all right. Let's see if there's any uh, any villagers that want to meet our Ender Dragon buddies. All right, you guys got to be gentle. This is a village, a village. Okay, all right, all right. No, no. All right, so as it turns out, the Ender Dragons aren't really nice with the villagers. I'm sorry. I'm so Oh no, stop. You guys got to be gentle. You got to be gentle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, where'd he go? No! Jerry! They killed Jerry. That's enough of that. The sheep's one thing. I can, you can't, you can't kill Jerry. All right, so I cleaned up those Ender Dragons, changed it to peaceful mode. They shouldn't be bothering us anymore, hopefully. Let's check out some of Andrew's other items in his Minecraft mod. So I probably won't be able to show off all of them, but uh, I'm gonna try out some of the really cool things. And I haven't even tried out most of these, so we'll, uh, we'll kind of get to experience them together. Uh, so in here we have a vibranium ore, an ore of power, hmm, these look pretty cool, magical soil with diamond seeds and magical fruit. The vibranium ore can go down to the uh, ingot, which can then be made into the block, just like with uh, iron ore, iron ingots, and iron blocks. Okay, same thing with the ore of power. We have the medieval castle, which if my suspicions is right, I believe this medieval castle block will build the castle that we saw. Ooh. That looks really cool. So there's a whole structure block. And this actually uh, was all coded in by Andrew and it's all generated with code, which I think is 
absolutely amazing. This is a really cool structure uh, to make just with code and uh, that's super impressive there. I really like that. All right, let's go ahead and put that away. Let's see what else we got. We have a lucky block. Ooh. We have the spring of power. We have all the different extra mobs that Andrew added in. Okay, all right, Jedi Creeper, Red Dragon, Ninja Chicken, Wolverine. Okay, let's check out some of the weapons here. We have a Warning Dangerous bow. Hmm, okay. It's pretty, I'm, I, I will trust you that that is dangerous. We have a Hyper bow too. That might not be as dangerous, but it's probably pretty, pretty good. We have a Meteor on one and M Mjolnir? 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 Mjolnir. Mjolnir. We have the Mjolnir, the ancient hammer of Thor. We have Laser Phaser. I, I like that name. That's pretty cool. A Lava Launcher, a Cow Gun, and a Super Soaker. Okay, we're going to have to use these. We have the Ultra Sword, Axe, Pickaxe, Shovel, Hoe, and the Ultimate Sword. And if you look, we can see the damage each of these do. That is one trillion billion something? Yeah, that's about a trillion. I don't think anything could survive that. We have on the ultimate sword five attack damage. You know, I like that. Mixing it up. Ultra sword to ultimate sword. We have we have one end and then the complete other end. Now let's see. We have emerald items here too. Ooh, emerald axe, pickaxe, sword, shield, tech. Ooh, these look pretty cool. All right. Well, we can't get to all of these, but let's let's go ahead and just try on some of the invisibility items we have here. Ooh, ooh. It's a sword of invisibility too. Ooh. That is really hard to tell whether or not I have that, but I, I like it. I like it. So let's try the ultra armor and ultra things on. Let's go ahead and try these on. I'm super excited. All right, so I have the ultra armor equipped and it looks like I have night vision, speed, jump boost, resistance, and water breathing. Ooh, I look pretty cool too. I mean, my, my uh, Minecraft character always looked pretty cool, but this is some really awesome looking armor. I like this design a lot. Andrew did super good on this. I like the black theme going on here. And let's kind of, let's check out what powers. Ooh, so we got night vision, jump boost, water res resistance, water breathing, some very cool stuff. Let's go ahead and let's check out that night vision. Ooh, I can see everything. So I have the invisibility armor on as you can see, or uh, as you can't see, I have invisibility permanently equipped and let's check me out. Oh, I look so good right now. All right, let's see. We got the sheep here and the rabbit. I kind of feel bad. No, nah, I, I don't. Ooh, yeah, oh, oh. Ow, I'm not in creative mode anymore. Let's go ahead and actually try these out here. Uh, we're going to suit up and go to the dimensions that Andrew made. Now, these are the specific portals, just the blocks of the dimensions that Andrew has made. And I'm going to check them out and show you guys some of the cool stuff. All right, so I'm equipped with what looks like every projectile known to man in Andrew's mod. We have our Mjolnir, Warning Dangerous, Hyper Bow, and let's take this one. All right, so I'm here in Andrew's first dimension that he made and modded himself, uh, and it looks... Uh, Almost looks like an alien-like planet. Good thing I got a. Uh, good thing I got some of these weapons. Got this cow gun to defend me. Bah! This, this is. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, so we have a, a gun that shoots cows. All right, let's check out some of these other things I got. I got a super soaker. Let's see, nothing on the left click. On the right click, bam! Oh. I have never seen that before. Uh, so awesome green water we got going here. Uh, super soaker gun. That's pretty sweet. What is the laser phaser? I didn't think it would actually dest literally destroy you. You guys just got evaporated into nothingness. That, that's cool. I think you can look at me. Oh my gosh. What are you guys looking at? Ah! This, uh, I, the laser phaser is so far, uh, probably my second favorite of the three. I have a personal, uh, Soft spot in my heart for the cow gun. Cause what is what is cooler than shooting cows in the air? Oh, oh, oh. Gah! Gah! Get smitten, cows. Oh, I will smite you. And you all who look upon my glory will be smitten. Smited? Smited. It does not matter. Bah! All right, I think we've had enough cow carnage. I'm gonna go ahead and go on one of the other dimensions that Andrew has and we'll test out these other weapons here. 
uh, and see how much destruction that they can rain down. Hopefully not on the precious cows. You guys have suffered enough, yes. We have what looks like to be obsidian blocks and the block we saw in the chest earlier. What type of block is it? Let's see, it is the spring of power block. I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen when I step on this. Ooh, all right, this is fun. I like the sky world dimension. I think it's very, very simple. And again, this would be a really cool place that you could take to and build your own house in an awesome sky world uh, with these really cool trampoline blocks. So I like what Andrew did with this one. Let's check out that last dimension. All right, this dimension is amazing. Here is the portal for it. And it looks like, I believe we're in probably the farmer's dimension here. We're up, we're in the biome farmer's paradise. Uh, that is, uh, this is super cool. We have uh, that, some of that magic soil uh, that we were uh, had in our inventory in that box a little bit earlier. And it looks like this truly is a farmer's paradise. All right, so I went ahead to grab some diamond seeds here and some bone meal. And let's check out these special awesome plants here that Andrew made. Ooh. Let's go ahead and actually harvest these real quick. And it looks like they dropped that magic fruit. Oop, and some seeds as well. Ooh, I'll leave that one up there. You, you can stay. You, you watch this one, okay? You got that? He's got it. No, no. He doesn't get it. All right. Talk to the butt. The face don't want to hear it. I understand. I understand. But it looks like we have this awesome diamond fruit from those, uh, from the plants that we have right here. And let's go ahead and eat it. Ooh. Something immediately changed. So it looks like with this fruit, we get night vision, speed, strength, jump boost, resistance, and water breathing. And I think we get a minute of it. Oh my gosh, we're fast. I think we get a minute of it. Ooh, 45 seconds. All right, that's, oh my gosh. We can literally run, I think even faster than what the armor gives us. That is pretty sweet. I can jump up, spread the love of the cows, but this is uh, pretty sweet. I think this uh, diamond fruit's a little bit overpowered, but that's okay with me. And let's go ahead and check out the Grenade of Destruction. This one sounds awesome. Let's see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I think, I think we should definitely set this off right now. Let's go ahead and go right into the center. Oh, oh. And I'm pretty sure my Minecraft is going to have to take just a little bit of time to think about what I just did to it. All right, those Ender Dragons don't look very happy. This is crazy. My Minecraft doesn't know what to do with itself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I believe there's still explosions happening everywhere. There are still explosions happening. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. That destruction is insane. I actually don't think there's a better way than that to end this video. Andrew, your mod looks super cool. I'm so glad we got to showcase it in our YouTube video. And I really hope you keep designing and programming using Codekit, making more awesome things like this. This is really amazing. If you guys liked the video and you would love to see more videos like this, go ahead and let us know in the comments. Tell us your favorite part of the mod that Andrew made and what was the coolest thing. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so you guys can stay up to date on the most recent awesome Codekid videos. And if you guys are a Codekid student making awesome Minecraft mods, Roblox games and websites and you wanna send us your work, who knows? We might showcase your work in our next YouTube video. But if you're interested in doing awesome things just like what we saw in Andrew's mod, you guys can go ahead and check out the link below to go to codakid.com and sign up for a free trial for our online courses. They're super fun. You guys get to learn coding and make really awesome creations. Until then, I'm Austin, and I'll see you guys in the next Codakid video.